Good morning, this is the National Weather Service Office in La Crosse with a severe weather briefing for June 16th, 2014. Currently we are anticipating some strong to severe thunderstorms starting in southeast Minnesota northeast Iowa roughly in the 6 to 10 p.m. time frame and spreading westward eastward into western Wisconsin uh, right around 8 p.m. continuing on through midnight. A whole assortment of threats from large hail, damaging winds, heavy rainfall, even a brief tornado, and, and this threat is higher west of the river for southeast Minnesota and northeast Iowa early on in the event. The confidence is pretty high that this is going to occur. Timing overall, 6 p.m. to midnight, moving in from west to east. Hazards, again, damaging winds, large hail, brief tornado is possible. Uh, there will be some heavy rain, could lead to flash flooding. The locations that we have a risk throughout the entire area, but right now it appears highest along and south of I-90 if the expected storm complex takes the direction that we believe it will. Currently, uh, we have a front to the south. Uh, we expect this front to move north upwards to the Iowa-Minnesota border uh, by late in the day, and that will um, kind of guide the storm complex expected to develop over the southern central plains and move in the south uh, west Minnesota northeast I should say northwest Iowa by uh, early afternoon then track mostly to east we are outlooked right uh, right now it's a slight risk this morning there could be a upgrade to a moderate risk farther to the west um, in the kind of the uh, uh, borders between South Dakota Minnesota and Iowa Here's your tornado probabilities, uh, fairly high uh, across uh, southern Minnesota to, to northeast Iowa, expecting some supercells to develop and then move due east, eventually more morphing into more of a wind threat. Speaking of which, here's your probabilities for uh, wind damage, again, leading into uh, western uh, Wisconsin. And the hail threat, also um, uh, very large off to the west, and, that, and the hail threat will decrease through the evening as it uh, as this whole storm complex becomes uh, what we expect to be more of a wind maker. Just taking a quick look at expected rainfall uh, for today and tonight, a any storm will be capable of very heavy rain and the problem here is that if it continues to fall in the same areas flash flooding could occur but then looking at tomorrow, the day after and really through the week um, looking like a lot of rain potentially four to five inches through Friday this could uh, result in some flash flooding if it hits soggy areas and, and certainly some rises on area rivers but back to today here is our latest weather graphic on our website showing outlining where we expect the highest severe threat should note it is for our entire area but this is currently where we expect the highest of the severe threat uh, to lie uh, in the hatched area, that's where the greater tornado threat is currently, and that would be early in the event, more early evening. Um, again, damage and winds, large hail, isolated tornadoes. Quick note, Tuesday and Wednesday, we could have another risk for some severe thunderstorms. There's your timing, again, 6 to 10 p.m. west of the river, 8 p.m. to midnight east of it. Um, could see maybe that tornado. Uh, generally, though, we're looking at damaging winds, large hail, and locally heavy rain. Uh, widespread damage is going to be possible, um, certainly, if, if any of this manifests itself. And you really need to, to pay attention to the latest details. Uh, some spotter groups are likely. That is the briefing. I do want to note that the track uh, and the areas that have the highest risk is subjective right now. There's uh, we're going to have to watch how the storm system develops and where it moves and we do anticipate there will be some adjustments to where the risk area is and how high the risks are going to be. So please check back in later and uh, see how these things are coming to fruition.